Welcome back. Another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast right now is uh, welcome back. Um, Connor Mozak, of course, uh, who runs Trans Am for the Scott Legacy team. How's it going, man? Not too bad. How are you? Good. So um, another rate, another week, another race um, for you this week at Road Atlanta. Before we get to that, uh, you ran the Roval last week. You did pretty well. You had some NASCAR guys uh, you, you know, you're running with. Of course, your teammate, Sam Mayer, who will be running this weekend. Um, you also had the Ty Gibbs was out there. Harrison Burton was out there. Brandon Jones was out there. Corey Heim was out there. What was it like running with all those guys? Um, I really didn't get to see too many of them uh, where we were in the race. Unfortunately, uh, we had some problems in practice. Um, blew a tire on Saturday or on Friday, sorry. Uh, NASCAR turned four, so that kind of ended our day early then. And then um, Saturday morning practice, the throttle hung on me going into turn one, so ended up in another accident. So we missed qualifying, had to come from the back. Um, and we were able to make our way forward pretty quickly, but uh, unfortunately just needed a, another caution or a caution uh, to see what we had with Ty and Sam there at the end. But um, overall, I feel like that was really all we could do. Uh, with no caution. Yeah. Um, okay. So third, you got third in your TA2 class, I think fourth overall. And um, you're going to road Atlanta this weekend. Another, another Trans Am race. Um, Scott's going to be in the car again. Sam's your T. And then of course, Sam's back with you again. Um, what's it, what's it like to have, you know, Sam as your teammate? Oh, uh, this weekend was good. Um, first time I'd ever really worked with him. Um, he was, you know, helpful. Any questions I had, um, and, you know, it's tough competition. So, you know, I think that's a, a good thing for me and see how I compare against him and what I can learn. And, um, you know, I think being able to run with them is, is always a good thing. So I think kind of going into, you know, road Atlanta, have you ever been there? Yeah, we went, uh, I ran the TA2 double header uh, at the end of last year. What was that like, you know, to go to a place that, you, you know, you, that you've been to? Um, you know, I'm looking forward to it. We, I think, this, you know, this will be my first TA2 race where I have been to the track before. Um, so I hope that that will help me out. And then, um, we were pretty fast for what we had going on, uh, last year, the first race, we had big time brake problems and then, uh, and we're still running fifth and then, um, second race had a hub break and it was probably breaking for the majority of the race. And uh, I think we would have, the guy behind us ended up finishing third. So, um, you know, could have had a top five and a podium that weekend with a car that was having problems. So I think that that shows the speed we have. If we, you know, have no problems and we're able to, to run as fast as we can. So you're looking kind of like um, in, with this weekend coming up really, you got, you got with the, with Trans Am and stuff. I know that you have a, some plans to do maybe some late model race, super late model races at the, at the, uh, maybe some, at some point in the year, do you have any updates on what else you're going to do this year in terms of racing? Uh, I wish I could announce some stuff. Uh, still, these things are taking longer than I'd like, but yeah, we're still planning on running some super late model shows. Um, definitely I'm hoping all the big shows, uh, um, you know, Winchester and Snowball, things like that. Um, so we'll be there probably 12 races or so total. And then um, hopefully four Arca races as well. Yeah. So kind of going into, um, and of course, you're also running the full Trans Am season, correct? Yeah, right. So of course, you got venues coming up. You got Nashville coming up as well. Um, I know that there's a lot of excitement around there. What's, what's it going to be like to go down and, you know, be a part of that? You're talking about the Trans Am? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm really, that's the one I'm definitely the most excited for. Um, I think it'll be cool to be there with IndyCar and, um, you know, never run a street course before. So I think that'll be cool uh, as well as, you know, Nashville is a great town. So I'm happy to be going back there and, um, I think going over a bridge is pretty wild. So uh, there's a lot of unknowns. Apparently the straightaways are really, really long. So, um, you know, kind of just don't know what to expect going down there. But um, overall, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be a fun weekend. And, you know, obviously, what are you looking into when you do, when you go into Rhode Island? 
in road Atlanta, um, I think really just, you know, seeing where the car is at, taking care of it. Um, the biggest thing for me, the last few races and even practices is just having to take care of the car. Um, you know, it's had a, a pretty big streak of bad luck recently. So I was really just happy on last weekend at Charlotte to, to run all the laps in the race. Um, so, you know, that'd be, obviously we want to finish the race. Um, our goal going in is going to be to win. I think we'll be happy with the podium and, uh, I think we can for sure do that. All right. Connor Mozak, thank you so much for uh, coming on. Good luck this weekend at Road Atlanta. Yes, sir. Thank you.